Hey guys, what's up? This is Gom, and welcome to Pacific Drive on the PC. This is a first person car survival game, <laughs> uh, which has had my eye for a while. I'm actually pretty hyped for this because it's, it just fits in such an interesting area. I've always been interested in just kind of like car driving simulator games in terms of like a vibe. But also, this is in like a supernatural, like apocalypse thing. So that, those are two great sounding combinations. So we're gonna go ahead and get into this. I am playing with a PlayStation 5 controller on PC. We'll see how that ends up playing out. Um, in terms of control, if it ends up being eh, I'll swap to my mouse and keyboard. But all right, let's jump into Pacific Drive. Would you like to customize your settings before you start? Uh, I did kind of already shuffle through a few things, turned off motion blur, and everything else we'll just leave on unless, unless something gets particularly annoying. In 1947, the Olympic Peninsula became the staging ground for a promising new technology. As rumors of its utopian creation spread, so did stories about overnight evacuations, unsolved disappearances, and unnatural encounters. In 1955, the government walled off a section of the peninsula to establish the Olympic Exclusion Zone. For 30 years, the zone's borders grew, until the government withdrew and sealed every access point. What happened inside was never disclosed. Are these the events that transpired? Or are we just... Heading in there now? Uh, all right. Looks like I've got a delivery to make. I can make that work. Hold on, I gotta double check here. Streamer safe mode? Okay. I'm hoping for the best. Sometimes we have these streamer safe modes and then they don't actually work. <laughs> The music they still selected ended up getting the video's copyright hit. And that's always a sad time for me. Alright. Well, that's a closed off tunnel. I didn't check the date on my files there. I assume I've got a job to do. Oh, let me get on the right Soldier side of the road. I doubt there's anybody driving out here. But I can still be a little reasonable. Oh, it is raining now. What happens if I don't? Keep the wind or wipers out. It'd be act I'd like it if the car window got like so covered in water that I actually had to turn it off. I'll be reasonable. Let's get my, uh, my lights on as well. Yeah, normally... I play with like mouse and keyboards, but like driving with the controller is just so much nicer usually. Also, vibration. Feeling the vibrating controller while I drive around feels nice. Like I feel the vibration of the car itself. You don't really get that with most mouse and keyboards. Not yet. Tug 
headlights. I'm already on it. You know, in Texas, you have to keep your lights on at all times. It just helps other drivers' visibility and your own. Wait, what did that say? Warning. High R levels facility. Extreme caution ahead. Well, I don't know what R levels are. But if it's radiation, I guess I'm screwed. Uh oh. My radio's going out. <laughs> I didn't like that. Launching construction facility ahead. It's mildly closed off. Whoops. Hit a bush. I guess we'll go along the walls. Somebody else has driven here recently. Why did that glowing patch of land disappear? <laughs> uh, must be seeing things, uh, you know, long hours on the, the shipping job. Clearly. Uh, I've probably been up for more than 16.1 hours legally required to pull my car over and take a nappy nap. That's a lot more glowing, though. Oh, shit. Am I gonna have to get out of the car here? Oh! Oh! No! No! Oh! Ah! Ooh. <laughs> that... My entire car got sucked in. That was a strong force. What the hell? Uh, the exclusion zone dragged me into it, so. Ugh. Ugh. My car. My car! I didn't even get to see what the outside of my car really looked like. But, uh, I'm certainly getting to see the inside of it, I think. Okay, I should get out of here, I think, as soon as possible. This is a lot of glowing yellow-green stuff everywhere, and I'm sure that's got to be, like, crazy high levels of radiation or something. I don't want to be near that. Crouch. Jump. Oh, nice. I ran the demo. <laughs> I did the demo of this game just a little bit to see what the performance would be like. And uh, they had the triangle button as the jump button. So the fact that they changed that really amuses me. Oh, someone out there? Hello? Uh, what a swan. I... Hello? Francis, the radar's acting up again. You were supposed to tune up this piece of junk years ago. How many people had to complain to the developers in the demo for them to change the default setting to X? Which is how it should be, by the way. X is the better jump button. Alright. Put the wheel back on. Oh, you're missing a wheel? Oh, shit. Um, okay. Yeah, here we go.
anything else I should take into this car, or am I just... Okay. <laughs> Here we go. That was weird. <laughs> Wipers on. Oh, signal. Yes, it's back. It's back. This is Tobias Ballo and Francis Cook, located in mid zone sector B. Hello? Can you read me? Yeah, I hear I'm you. I'm picking up your distress signal in the outer zone. It looks like you're somewhere around sector E. Hey, Francis, come here. Yes, it's urgent. Leave that interferometer alone for a second. Something is out there. Is Francis going to make his way over? I should start to drive. Hey, hey we got a live one. Hey, do you copy? Hello? Oh, uh, whoops. Hello? Is this thing working? They, 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 they don't have a transmitter. We won't hear a thing back. Huh. But if they're stranded... Could they, I mean, they're from outside? They're a preacher. Hey, hey, how did you get through the barrier wall? No one's gotten into the zone in ages and lived to tell about. I got sucked into an orange get light. To safety, this one won't either. That's a good point. Hey, you're in serious danger. The instability's closing in, and it's gonna scramble you quicker than beef in a blender. Ah. The closest shelter is a few miles east. Get there however you can, and be quick about it. East? I'm currently... I think I'm heading west. Or maybe even south? My little compass thing here... Ah, uh, shit. I'm not sure how it indicates directions just yet. It shows east here, but does that mean the east is behind me? Alright, check your trunk for fuel can. Uh-oh. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Parking brake! Parking brake! Parking brake! Alright! I'll make sure to do that. Ew. It's like stuck on there with... Some kind of goop. Well, at least... This doesn't seem too bad. I have to get in, get some spit takes. Where's my fuel? Here we go. Oh, no, no. I wanted to look around while I did that. Here, have my fuel cap back. What the fuck? Oh shit! Oh shit! Ah! Whoa, 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 wait, oh, oh. There it is again, that blip on the spectrometer. I've seen that waveform before, but where? No kidding. Could it be? A remnant? It can't be. There hasn't been one in decades. Look at that spectral fingerprint and tell me that doesn't match the remnants exactly. What the hell's a well, remnant? What we should be looking at is how fast this preacher seems to be moving. Huh. You know, if I didn't know better, I'd say they're going about the speed of a... No way. No way to not tell me. They found a remnant and it's a car this time? Holy cripes! No one's had working wheels in here for ages. Boy, I'm killed to know how a combustion engine's still chugging away out there. Okay, let's not get ahead of ourselves. First, the preacher needs to get to safety. Then we can look into whether that car is a remnant or not. In my heart of hearts, I already know. They're back, baby. Ah, my lights are breaking. I'm very concerned. Oh, well, damn, I didn't think the fence would break like that. Is that shelter? Oh, shit. out of here. OK, 
Okay. <laughs> Awkwardly, the same button for just opening the door is the same button for getting in and out, and sometimes they... they... Doesn't seem to work as intended. Is this the... breaker? Oh, that's simple. Hello? Go to the shop. God, it's been breached. You've got five seconds to get the hell out before I... Oh, my head. Uh, it's an emergency broadcast. Hello, uh, attention. This message is for Dr. Ophelia Turner. We've sent a breacher to your garage on um, official zone business. Now, we have it on very good authority that this person is in possession of a remnant, which has taken the form of a car, and, well, uh... Oh. Get off the remnant thing. She's not gonna care. Um, uh, right, like I said, super officials own business. Protocol, uh, demands that you keep them alive until we can get them to safety. Now, if you do not comply, I will occupy this broadcast channel with a recitation of the entire collection of poems I've personally written that's 10 years and 17 volumes and... <sighs> Tell her that voice gets like a nail gun to the skull. <laughs> so, so you're willing to keep me alive? Another breach, uh-huh. <sighs> How do you outsiders not understand that Arda didn't build that 300 meter wall out there for fun? Hey, I got dragged Plus, in me here. One of the unfortunates who got zapped through. Yeah. Wait, I just remembered. I don't give a damn why or how you got here. You're trespassing and I'd kindly like you to get the hell out of my zone. Well, I have a delivery to do. So like, I probably <sighs> maybe need to get out of here too. The barrier wall is as fortified against breaches trying to get in as it is against anyone or anything trying to leave. We have to find you a way out. So you might as well start by fixing up that car. Just don't break anything in my shop with those soft hands of yours. Okay. So I guess I can take this. The game wants me to. What? Oh, you need help? Well, there's a headset somewhere in the garage. Put it on. The built-in diagnostic will tell you what needs fixing up. All right, I'm taking this backpack. Thought she would like me, you know, eventually tell me herself, but apparently no. This though, she did tell us about. Oh, it gives us a HUD. Tend to your wounds at the first aid station. Oh my God, I'm at 36 percent health. Owie! Put the wheel back on. What do you mean, put the wheel back on? What the hell? Hey! How did this fall off while I was in here? Are we, is anything else off of here? The tire seems a little low on, on air. Screw it. We're gonna get inside the shop. Give it a new paint job and everything. <laughs> Craft a replacement door. Add to your to do list. Okay, so uh, first we're gonna try some things here. All right. I wanted to see what the button was for that. So on the gamepad, it's the middle button. On keyboard, it's backspace. Um, Blueprints. Fruit door. Add to checklist. This weary, flimsy piece of oxidized metal will both open and close. It will also keep out the wind and the rain. It just barely meets every technical specification required to be a door. All right, here's the, th this is the area where like I'm the most concerned about in terms of like mouse and keyboard controls. 
Because look at <laughs> look at the sheer number of things here. On mouse and keyboard, I can just be like, oh yeah, I, I want spare tire. Uh, I want to just look at spare tire like this. But when I'm on keyboard, you gotta kind of like do things one at a time. And I'm an impatient person. Ooh, map. Okay. Gather items from the abandoned car behind the garage for your checklist. Ah, yeah. Yeah, I guess I can take this. Search the toolbox by the garage door for a pry bar. Got you. Mechanics kit. All the most essential items and equipment that allow a mechanic to do their job. You'll want a few of these on standby to handle engine or wheel trouble. And then we got a pry bar. Is it a pry bar or is it really your first chance to try the subtle art of lockpicking? After all, this is for the cautious, careful opening of closed containers. It may simply it may simply seem larger than conventional lockpicks or require a little more force. And we got duct tape. Alright. I will just grab all of these. The button for transferring materials is behind my phone. Uh, okay, R3 and R2 rearrange things. Interesting. What the? Crowbar? Triangle. Haha! -ha! Now we're doing science! Ooh, so much stuff in here. Okay, so R3. Transfers like raw materials, I guess, for crafting. And then these things are road flares. There's the dumpster by the garage for crucial items you're unable to craft. Can I get a flashlight? Friendly dumpster. Whoa! That works, I suppose. Thanks, thanks for tossing our rope. Look, does it turn off? Oh shit! Scrapper. Oh. Neat. This is a little intense. Yeah, we're still missing a little bit of materials. Do I break the tire? Yeah, I guess we'll, we'll break everything. This entire car will be broken down, so I may assemble my other car. Alright. We need to make a door. Install the crude door. You can either put it on the back, or you can put it on the Right, I'll put it here. Get the repair putty from the locker. Ooh. Hey, there's a spare tire here too. Repair putty. When you don't have the time or the resources to perform extensive repairs, this is the spit and tape solution that will carry you through the th yeah, carry you through and fix up the worst of things. First aid kit. Improvised bandage. This will do until you can patch yourself at the auto shop. Health 50. We've got chemicals, which are just some random materials. Spare tire. What is conventionally known as a spare tire is really a whole entire spare wheel. Still, who wants to break with convention and start quibbling over details? Yeah, I guess give me the repair putty. And we can equip it. Then 
not equip it? Okay, whoops, wrong thing. I equipped a gear. Alright, car. I guess, um... Let's get you a little fixed up. That is looking better! Wow! Get the driver's side door nice and covered up, too. And then scan the flat tire. Oh, repair the flat by crafting and using a ceiling kit, or replace the flat with the spare tire found in the locker. Well, got the tire here, so... Hehe! <laughs> Let me... Put this here. Take this off. wheel you got it it's got but I'm gonna put this tire away in here all right mechanics kit <laughs> ding ding you're all good Outfit the car. Install cardboard boxes in the trunk of the car. Sure. I guess. Now I've got storage space. Or something. Craft mat in the trunk. Oh, for random crafting on the field. Lovely. a little prototype of mine in the garage. The arc device. Hook it up to your car, wherever it'll fit. Alright, install the arc device in the passenger seat. Oh, it's gonna keep me company. Here. Oh, it's got like a GPS. This beauty won't just be your tour guide. It's your North Star and the only way back to safety. Heck. You should consider it the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit if you plan on staying alive. That's how important this thing will be to you. Yes, that's my very own invention. I'll tell you more about it if you live long enough to use it. Fantastic. Pick up the gear blueprint by the front garage door. What is this? Pick up the impact hammer blueprint by the front door. Did I just literally learn how to craft a random piece of gear? Oh, nice. Yeah, I'd love to fuel my car for free. Perfect. Line the car with the charging station in the parking bay. Throw the switch to charge the battery. Oh, did, <laughs> I already did that first step. Whoa. If you're all set, take a look at the projector against the wall. What wall? Oh. Route planner? Manual. Planning a drive. I want to learn about that. What is that about? Certain components and equipment that you will install in your car have abilities that need to be activated. You can assign controls to up to four of these using the small panel on the left side of your dashboard. Intriguing. 
<laughs> While on the driver's seat, you can steer, brake, reverse, shift between park or drive, and of course, turn the ignition key. You can also toggle the radio, headlights, and windshield wipers. Should all else fail, honk the horn. Is the manual over here? Here we go. Planning a drive. Use the map on the wall of the auto shop to plan your next drive across the zone. Along each route, you'll find different resources and face strange hazards, so make sure to choose your route or path carefully. Choose between revisiting known junctions to gather more resources, charting new routes deeper into the zone, or taking investigative drives to uncover the story behind why you're here. Well, everything's deep This is the here. zone. Within these borders, all matter has lost the ability to hold a constant physical state. What that means is the shape, size, and makeup of just about everything constantly changes. A mile of grass can turn into ten miles of swamp in the blink of an eye, and it does. Constantly. It's caused by something we call instability. We're completely surrounded by it, and once you've watched it chew through entire mountain ranges, you'll understand that you don't want to get anywhere near it. We can only survive in here within pockets of stability. That's what you're standing in now. And that's what you're seeing mapped on the route planner. If we're going to find you a way out of the zone, you'll need to build a new antenna. Until then, you won't be able to detect stabilized routes beyond your immediate area. So, you've got to go hunting for parts, and that means taking a drive. Go on, pick a route. The Octavice in your car will then show you where you need to go. Okay, well I only have one place to go, so I guess we'll do this. Random place over here. Damp forest. Off you go. Make a left out of the garage and follow the access road. Okay. Get in the car. Mm, I gotta head to my left. Whoa. Not read any of that for now. I've got so much shit in here now. <laughs> I wanted to see what that was. Uh, the abilities are gonna be like. Things might get crazy on the road. All right. I never put my car out of drive in the first place. Oh, shit. Oh, hold on. Oops. I didn't know I was going to throw a UI HUD waypoint on my screen as well. That does make things a little bit easier. Okay. Junction conditions. Perpetual stability. What does that mean? No, oh, I can't mouse over it to read what it means. Fine. Junction conditions. Never changing conditions in the zone can dramatically alter both the environment and the many things you may encounter out there. Be sure to plan ahead. I just wanted to read more about particular conditions <laughs> but okay that's a smidge we get a smidge little disappointment there but I also get it I don't like that I had to go through like a fast travel okay newbie screen already but oh well. overwhelm that little brain of yours you'll need a few things to rebuild the antenna at the garage first on the list is plasma the woods are littered with plasma, generally. Look for a research trailer or a spark tower. That's those antenna things zapping you when you get too close. Both are always accompanied by plasma generators. Alright. I'm guessing that's gonna the be whatever these are. Up on some plasma generators nearby. Your headset has a built-in scanner. Use it on the plasma generator and it'll figure out the tools you need. Okay. Tap to get out. Our holding it closes it. Ah, 
looks like it's ripe for the picking. Can't get at it with your hands, though. An impact hammer will do the trick. Alright. What do I need to... Craft an impact hammer. <laughs> Scrap metal, gas cylinder, and gear. Find those materials by any means necessary. No one's coming back ever again, so go on and take what you need. Transports, homes, outposts, facilities, they've all been abandoned since the zone was decommissioned in 87. Most of those structures won't even be there the next time the instability scrambles the area. So loot to your heart's content. Just loot away. Sweet. Yeah, I'll take everything I can. Look at you! Out in the zone all on your own! They grow so fast, don't they? And I'll be back at the helm! Been a long time, old gal. Didn't think we'd, uh, talk again after that whole Sasquatch incident. Yes, I was hoping to go another decade without hearing your voice again. What did you finally talk Francis to death? Hello to you too, Oppie. And no, I'm still here. What's in this locker? Is everyone gonna... Or is mom, dad, and dad just gonna fight over the radio while I deal with stuff out here? I'm disassembling everything. Everything that has a health bar. Yeah. Oh, I have to hold it. There we go. Hazmat cabinet. Ah, I need a pry bar. I need to access my storage in the back of my car soon. My inventory filled up real fast. Also, holy schmoly. I didn't realize how bad my performance was going to be. I was deceived. See, I played the beginning demo area, which, you know, was just literally the, like, starting drive. And probably a little bit more, but I didn't play beyond that. And I had 70 plus FPS there, so I was like, yeah, okay, seems like that'll be good for all of it. Wrong, we're at 30 FPS now. Unfortunate. Okay, I need to make a gear. Hey, uh, uh, driver, I bet you're dying to hear all about the remnants by now. Oh, can you not? I'm a little busy trying to keep them alive. I'll keep to the basics, I promise. They deserve to know what they're getting into. Fine. I'm giving you 60 seconds. That is not nearly enough time to get... 55 seconds and counting. Okay, okay, okay. The remnants, in short, they're old objects that do all sorts of weird things. They bind themselves to people, and, and you're the latest victim. You and the car are inseparable now, so get acquainted. Once the remnant is bound to someone, they become gradually more obsessed with it. It takes over the victim's mind, until they go crazy and run off into the zone with it. No one has ever been able to resist its siren call. That fixation is probably worming its way into your brain as we speak. This is the first time we've ever got our hands on one. Uh, but we know all about the past remnants, and oh gosh, this one time it materialized as an old copper kettle, and the tea that came out of that thing, it was... And now I'm splitting the transmissions going to your receiver. Anything critical to your immediate needs will broadcast directly and immediately to your radio and headset. Anything not mission critical will be on a low priority frequency. Those transmissions will be recorded and indexed for you to listen to at your leisure. <laughs> and by low priority, I mean just about everything that comes out of Tobias's mouth. Uh, that's... that's fair enough. At least you're recording it. I appreciate that.
it was all like something where I had to. Uh, whoops, I didn't do that. If I had to tune in over and over and over again just to be able to hear them talk, that would be annoying. Yeah. All right. Let me stash my materials. I'm going to... Oh, hold on. I just want to rearrange my inventory a little bit. I, I can put the repair button here. Actually, maybe I should always have it on me. What the fuck is that? Hey! Hey, hey! Why is there a giant UFO thing approaching me? Whoa, my god, it's not approaching me! It is approaching me! I'll beat you up! Get over here! I don't like that it makes noises at me! Ah! What the fuck? What the fuck was that? I should get this thing and go. What is this? Oh, just lighting. Alright. I guess I just keep it going then, huh? Ow! Oh my God, I hurt myself on the door? Oh, I actually have like a radio station thing up here that I can tune around. Oh, these are intimidating. Ow! Oh, God! God! Jesus! Fuck! Oh, God! Okay, sorry. My bad. I just wanted to look at my fucking map. Understand what's going on here a little bit. Because we have some, like, antenna things over here. Let's see. Nope, the legend doesn't say anything about those. Alright. I'm just gonna have to go fast. I should be fine to just run to all three of these and then run back. Maybe. What was that about? An anomaly? Well, it looks like you're near one of the old gorilla radio stations. That ought to be prime pickings for antenna parts. I've loaded its approximate location to your map. Look for an antenna tower up on a hill somewhere. Okay. Locate the radio station. Yeah, I imagine it's not the direction of the shimmering. Fucking UFOs down the road. Yeah, 
gas overlook camping all in one location wow oh um introductions <laughs> my, my, where are our manners? Uh, driver, we never introduced ourselves. Not really. Tobias Barlow, former Arda maintenance manager. Oh, and um, here with me is Dr. Francis Cook. I was a R&D scientist researching limb technology right here in the zone. We live right in the mid zone. Just, just a hop, skip, and a jump over another big old wall from where you're at. Oh, and, and that old bat over there? That's Dr. Ophelia Turner, former director of research and development herself. The mother of limb technology, the maven of electromagnetism. That's enough. Resident party pooper. Pothole. Is that what this is? I'm in danger. Oh shit! <laughs> I was just standing in a radiated zone. Holy hell. I want to read about these, but like, the button for this isn't actually happening the way I want it to. Ugh. All right, I'm going in. You might be locked, but I've got my lock pick. Oh my god, I'm dying. Oh wait, no, we're fine. I am dying, but like, <laughs> I was looking at the wrong health bar. I was looking at my pry bar health bar, going, and I thought, oh shit, I got two, like, 10% health. But I was wrong. Lab reports five. Sure, I'll take that. Oh, tourist. What the fuck is a tourist anomaly? Nothing good ever happens with mannequins in a horror game. Oi! Ow! Okay, that's fair. I shouldn't have shown. <laughs> shouldn't have shown and checked the fucking mannequin. You know. Horror survival situation, huh? It's my bad. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Canned food. Yeah, sure, I'll use it. Foes right outside. A doctor. That's not a fucking good name. Uh, okay. Oh god, it's raining and it's dark. I gotta go. Oh shit! is breathing <laughs> that does sound pretty bad everything out here sounds pretty fucking awful oh shit the wind is like lifting stuff up even while it's inside the container 
I'm trying to find this radio station. It, it might be much further out. I also don't know if I got all the plasma. My health! <laughs> Use the fucking health kit! on getting to the radio tower. This storm feels like it could get even worse. didn't try and kill me. It passed by me so many times. But maybe it's saving the worst for later. It wouldn't be called an abductor unless it actually tries to kidnap me at some point. Or my car! Alright. Put this shit on the brake. I can make my way down to like here. But well, first, I have to safely navigate off of this giant hill. At least as safely as I can with the storm raging on and scaring the hell out of me. Transmitter, go in my backpack. Oy, oy, oy. Oh, the storm's dying down a little bit. Okay, that makes me feel a little bit better. The storm made it feel like, you know, like she was saying, like, oh, the instability is going up. The world's about to end. Ah.
Should I not have done that? I don't like that sound. Close. better now. Uh, maybe we can check out that gas station. What's up with all the mannequins in the road? Hey, fellas! What the fuck? What the fuck? You know, I don't... I don't know about this. Oh boy. levels going up again and my pry bar is broken oh I broke my pry bar just to get into a fucking bathroom shit anomaly bollard I have so many things I need to read into okay well everything's locked on this And I don't like how shit's popping out of the ground now. So I'm gonna go. <laughs> I will read about what these anomalies are at the safety of the garage. And I'll also make like a new pry bar or something there. Although I do wonder if I could can I make one? Oh yeah, it's just scrap metal duct tape. I've got that. Oh wait, no, wrong road. Charging the car battery. Uh oh. Is my battery low? <laughs> I don't know what I should be looking. My fuel is fine. I've got half my fuel left. Bar. Fresh pry bar. Surely I'll get a flashlight at some point. I do appreciate that a lot of the materials just kind of get turned into this simplified, generic stacking of things that I can throw into my box here. And then by throwing it into the box, I can use it for the crafting without it being in my inventory. How does this thing work? Do I just drive up to it? Anchor. 
Those anchors may look like glowing balls of magic, but it's Limtech through and through. Don't be scared. They haven't exploded in anyone's face recently. <laughs> ah, lovely. Anchors are a source of enormous but extremely unpredictable energy. You can feed them to the arc device in the passenger seat to extract that energy. Once the device is powered to a certain level, it will be able to open a gateway to get you back to the auto shop. The amount of anchor energy needed to open a gateway will vary by junction, but as long as you make it through the gateway, you will recapture the energy you used to open it. That energy is also used to create items and equipment at the fabrication station. Try to bring back as much as you can. Okay. Does that mean I should have gone back to one of the other ones? Collect anchors until the arc device is fully charged. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, well, I guess that answers that. I thought this was a thing that, like, I collect one and then... Oh! What the fuck? Ah! That stupid-ass rock thing just sprouted out from under my car! That's targeted! The world's against me! Jesus! I was concerned that, like, grabbing one arc device would immediately, uh... turn things for the worst. But no. I gotta collect a bunch of them. Oh, not again! The music to open a gateway back to the garage, but it will immediately collapse the stability around you. So only activate when you're absolutely ready to leave. You do not want to get caught in the storm that follows. I think I'm ready to go. Uh, my vehicle protection is gone, or whatever the fuck that means. Gateway. You see that glowing pillar into the sky? Drive into it. Yes, it looks like hot death, but it's so much better than getting scrambled by the instability. Oh boy. I thought I was gonna have to, like, drive on a road or something. Excuse me! I'm going off-road and get the hell out of here. Hopefully I don't get hit by another giant pillar. Oh, oh, oh. Fuck it. I can back up into this and it'll be fine, right? No? Okay. <laughs> Fuck. Not like this. Oh, that's depressing. <laughs> oh, no. Unless it saved right as I did escaped. Oh my god, it saved as I was escaping! I think. Oh, well, well. You're alive. We're certain if the zone didn't get you, that gateway would. Hmm. Did I not mention that you're the first human I've sent through that thing? I mean, they've been rodents, but it's not like it's completely untested. But anyway, it worked. So, you should have made it back with everything you collected out there. That's the beauty of the gateway. It's the only way to get back with all your marbles intact. Me. Now, take those parts you found into the back room. I'll let you use my fabrication station. For now. That station will concoct ways for you to rig up anything from roof racks to flare guns. Assembling an antenna with those parts you brought back should be easy as pie, but it requires anchor juice to work its magic, so bring back as many as you can. 
And just because I haven't used that garage in decades doesn't mean you can trash the place, mess up my equipment, and I'll throw you to the anomaly so quick you'll get whiplash. We clear? Understood. I'm a little thrown off because of the game crashing. Hopefully it doesn't happen again, but all right. Let's get this opened up for future use. Okay. Assemble an antenna with the fabrication station in the back room. Ooh, it's a... It's a whole ass skill tree, research tree thing. All right. There are a lot of tabs here. Holy shit. Trunk in the trunk. Scan a wriggling rack anomaly, unlock a side rack. Oh, there's... There's a lot to this game. Wowie. Alright, let's get this scanning intent, I guess. Install the antenna on the roof. Oh, I'm putting it... Oh, okay, never mind. I thought I was gonna put it on the roof of my car. Maybe get some extra radio signals. Ah, that's what this path over here was for. I need to, uh... I need to get some health. Get the handbrake. With one swift tug of a lever, you can lock up the car's rear wheels and convert some of your momentum into a skid. You may even impress any anomalies that are watching. Hand vac. Using most of the sim same principles as a domestic vacuum cleaner, Though without any regard for safety constraints, this device allows for the swift collection of just about any solid or semi-solid substance. It will try to pick, uh, suck up anything small it's pointed towards. Huh. We got another panel. Sheesh, okay. Crude bumper. I'll go install some new stuff into my car. Whoa. Make sure to empty your trunk before heading back out. You'll need the space. Search the dumpster for something to help you unload the trunk. Oh, transfer trunk. Thanks. Friendly dumpster. A recommended driver's crashed. checklist. Everything's in working shape, more or less. I've hooked up the antenna to the route planner. Give it a look after you're done peeping through my garage. Okay. How do I make this work? Do I just throw this in a corner somewhere? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I can put all materials in there. Transfer from there, yeah.
And you can also have this repair, buddy. Go dumpster diving and see what you can see again. Ooh, another panel. Thanks. I do need to replace this. I do like this checklist we have on this on the left. There's a lot of things I'd forget otherwise. <laughs> Like, I probably wouldn't repair my car ever. <laughs> Until it was, like, really badly put. Where was the fuel thing? Surely it was, it was this thing, right? Yeah, here we go. I was looking at the wrong spot. What's wrong with my headlights? Oh, it's gone! Right. Yeah, that would be pretty bad. And my tires? Uh, one of them is pretty messed up, I guess. Well, that's what we have all of these repair putties for. What all really needs fixing? Uh, I guess this other headlight. Obviously I could slather everything in this. Yeah. Well, roof doesn't have a health bar to worry about. Mm. Yeah, screw it. At least get my car up to like 90% health. Alright, this should be a door, I think. I mean, it's a panel that I was hoping I could use as a door, but I guess not. Shoot. Let's get a door. <laughs> Doesn't feel right having this back here completely open. And then I need a headlight. Oh my god, it uses road flares for that? Jesus! Okay. I was ready for those to be very forgettable. Oh. Ah, oh, man, it doesn't look the same. Shit. What am I missing here? Oh, I'm missing a tail bumper. I guess there might be a missing panel. Oh, here we go, on this side. Aha! All right. Now, obviously, I 
should probably get rid of the spare tire. I need a real tire, right? Oh, I can't make a real tire just yet. Unless I research it, maybe. Let's see. All right, summer tire. Uh, I just needed. Oh, okay. Now I got the blueprint. Gotcha. Summer tire. I need one gear. I can, I can make that happen. Drop it on the ground. Oh no, not like that. <laughs> I just threw it max force. I can put this away in a locker. Oh wait, here's this other... Ah, there was a summer tire in here I forgot about. How much it costs to uh, make this repair putty? What's going on with my tires? Oh, it's this one. Bald. Oh, wait. That's the problem? <laughs> I can't just rip I can't repair putty my way out of this one. Shit. stuff I just installed needs to get fixed up a little bit. How much does it cost to make repair putty? Repair putty... It's not too bad. Make a battery jumper. Since the game recommends I have that. Where can I make flares? Maybe I don't have the re blueprint for it just yet. the door! How do I close this damn thing? It's... It's loud and scary! But I don't see, like, a pull chain or anything. I think I just have to put up with it. Oh my god, my battery's getting drained so low. Hold on. Is it because I have the headlights on? Because the car isn't on itself. So yeah, that'd probably do it.
Survival tools! Low torch, light replacement kit, hand vac, liberator. Liberator Mark II, magnetic hammer, anchor radar. Enormous energy that anchor generates gives off unmistakable unique signature that can easily be detected with the right equipment. And this is that equipment. That's not what I'm looking for, though. Matter Deconstructor. Turbo Light Engine, that sounds cool. Large Fuel Can. Yes, yes, understood. Mm. Maybe I can't make flares? Relightable flare. This may not be the best improvised flashlight the world has ever known, nor is it likely to meet even the most lenient safety standards. It may even singe your eyebrows. It does kind of work, though. Oh. oh, wait, shit. I need energy to research these things. Not just the materials. Okay. Well... We can get a flashlight, but I'm gonna have to go out on a trip. What does it mean by find your way in a town? Like over here? That sounds like it's gonna be a journey. Ah, oh, shit. Okay. Let me make sure I have a scrapper then. I think we're about ready to go. I'll throw this other scrapper away. No, I just want to move you to the side. My inventory is a mess. Um, okay, so if I... There we go. Okay, hold R2. <laughs> Put this over here. This can go down here. You can go down here. I think that's like a mainstay in my inventory for a good long while. I'll have it down a little bit more out of the way. taking pictures that go into my logbook. That's fun. Hmm. Should I fill this up? Yeah! Nice! Alright. 
Not that it matters, because I also researched large fuel can, right? It's not here. Here we go. Car maintenance. Taller, deeper, wider, this container has much more capacity than your previous fuel can. Think of it as a new briefcase for your most important capture. Petroleum. Can it still be put up here, though? That's the question. Fuck. Okay, it can't. Alright, then I'm not worried about it, I guess. This is our little emergency can that can just get stored up here, which is awesome. Ah, uh, the volume doesn't seem to shit. <laughs> Shush. Okay, I want to read about the fucking anomalies out there before I go out. Abductor! Dear Maggie, once again I miss you and the kids so much. I'm sorry I haven't written sooner, but it's been just crazy out here. I have a few moments right now, so I figured it'd be good to put pen to paper. I hope you don't mind the handwriting being so wiggly, but the... But me and the guys are in a bit of a pickle right now. You see, our van got pulled up into a tree. I'm afraid I can't explain exactly what happened, top secret things and all, but we, we're safe. Trust me on that. We also have two hours to wait before rescue comes, hanging 50 feet above the ground, and right on a ridge. I'll send this as soon as we get back to barracks, and write you a much better letter after. But in the meantime, here's a picture. I sketch it out while we're waiting. If there's one thing we have up here, it's a heck of a view. Love always, Joe. Spark Tower. Plasma-powered spark transmitters combining previously obsolete coils with limb-enhanced repeaters have proven to be the best way to boost signals through this zone. The constant increase in radiation and electromagnetic interference has made radio communication extremely difficult and often subject to bizarre distortions. These new modified coils appear to have solved that. The addition of local plasma power sources is a reliable way to keep each node within this vital infrastructure both operational and independent. However, the price we have to pay is constant maintenance and repair. They're demanding beasts and burn through components rapidly. If key resistors and capacitors are not regularly replaced, they quickly develop a habit of either shorting or even releasing constant high voltage, low current discharges into the immediate vicinity. That does sound pretty bad. Pothole. Hey boss, so I'm out here working with Mira and Tobias for maintenance and I'm afraid I've got some bad news about our gear. We run into some trouble and I don't think we're getting it back anytime soon. Sorry, bad start for my first potholing job. Call me when you get this, or better still, I think you should just come down and see for yourself. Our tools, our signs, our lights, they're all... Well, they've taken flight, so to speak. Heh, <laughs> really, I'm serious. I'm dead serious. You should see this. You know how you told me we were normal people working in a very abnormal place? I think I know what you mean now. Tourist. Hi, Christina. Hi. How are you? So, um, it turns out you were right. We've had reports from several regions of the zone now, and they've all... They're all very similar. We have seen these dummy things out in the wilderness, and um, we also have them inside abandoned houses. We also have them in gas stations, on the road, on top of signs. One report here says on a roof. We've spotted about 600 now. The file catalogs each and every one. Oh, and you're quite right about the other thing, too. Yeah, I know what happens when someone touches one. We all got plenty of data on that. So, um, I'm going to be applying for a position in Portland now. I've done, uh, I've done my review. It was a great time being contracted here for sure, but I'm not sure I want to work at Arda full-time, you know? It's, um, it's very strange here. You work in a very strange place. I'm sure you're doing important work, and I respect that greatly. But I think I'd like to go back to academia now. Oh, God, there's one of them outside. I know for a fact it wasn't there before. <laughs> oh, hey. He keeps a report on our, uh, our trips and what we got. So, I took a bunch of damage. <laughs> I took a lot of radiation damage. And my, my car got a little bit hurt up as well. Nice, nice. There's gotta be a way. Am I just missing something with these road flares? Mm, all right. Let's 
Here, let's head out. Assigning abilities. Do I have an ability now? Oh, the handbrake. Oh, yippee. I don't know what I want to put that on, actually. When I think handbrake, I, I thought it would just be under L2. But now it says it's like an ability. I'll, I'll put it on X. All right, let's get my route going. Or do I do it here? Okay, I want to go. I want to get out of here. Ah, oh, here we go. <laughs> the route planner. Fuck me. Ready All right. to make this remnant verification a one and done thing? I'm sending you to visit Colossal Cappy. If that old anomaly doesn't induce electromagnetic resonance in your car, then we're free from Tobias's fever dreams and we can get you out of here. With that antenna fixed, you can now detect stabilized road junctions in the outer zone. You've got a stable route heading straight to Cappy's front door, but the energy readings are off the roof. I advise you not to take the zone lightly. You better gear up or you may not survive the trip. Which would make my life easier, so... Your call. Alright, I'm trying to go over here. Destination planned. <laughs> yeah, I got so confused. I forgot that the route planner thing was way the fuck over there, not just like right there. 